Hello, in this video we are going to look at how to return a JSON array from a server back to Cocos2DX when you do a HTTP request. It's ridiculously simple in Cocos2DX JavaScript because JSON, as I'm guessing a lot of you will know, stands for JavaScript Object Notation. No JavaScript Object Notation and it's basically a JavaScript version of XML so you can easily manipulate JSON in Cocos 2DX JavaScript because he has a whole bunch of parsers built in. We've got a server all set up. This is actually our Sonar Learning Server. It's got a file on there called JSON Array, and this is what it returns. It returns three values, and the first value is our index A, and that's how we would access it A, B, C. It's got the integer 700. At index B, we've got the string, hello, my name is Batman. And at the index C, we've got the float 3.75. This isn't a tutorial on PHP or anything like that. If you're watching this video, you should already know how to do server-side code, whether that's PHP, ASP, or some other server-side language. This is about Cocos 2 dx and how you use JSON that's been returned. Because once it's returned to Cocos 2 dx the actual Cocos side, aka the client side, will be the same. So like I said, this isn't a server side tutorial. There's plenty of other videos on Sonar Learning that server side coding. So check them out. And if you have any questions, just feel free to message us and we'll help. So we got this all set up. So I'm just going to copy and paste this because we need to request this URL when we send it. So let's just paste it here where it says enter URL. The code I've got here is just simply what we did in the setup video, nothing more than that. And for the method, I'm going to put get. You can put post as well, that's more than fine, and you can send variables. And obviously, you would need to update the set request header. We've got a separate video covering all of that post goodness. But just keep it simple, we're just going to do a get header. And finally, we need to do xhr. Actually, I always make this mistake, it's not a mistake really. I always try and edit a JavaScript file in Xcode. The code formatting is terrible. So I'm just going to open it up in a text editor but run it through Xcode. So like I was saying, what we want to do is xhr.send because we need to actually send our HTTP request. Now that it's sent, inside here this if statement will be called if the HTTP request was successful and we're not going to be getting any data unless it was. In here we're going to put var json data equals json.pass xhr.response text and that's it. We now have our json data inside this variable. We can access it by doing json data square brackets and then putting quotation marks and now putting our index whether that's A, B or C though I've actually put A, B, C that's just to keep it simple you could have something like hello for example that could be an index but like I said this just keeps it really simple and I'm going to actually do free logs just to print out the different information so you can see exactly how you would access it so http response uh, for index a plus json data square brackets i'm just going to put a here you can simply copy and paste this change this to b c C, oh, that should be a C, B, save, and now we're actually ready to run. That's all you have to do to access JSON data. And that's the same if you're, let's say, you've got some sort of JSON file as well. So let's run this now, and as you can see, it's updated it in Xcode. Okay, it's just loading it behind the scenes, we don't care about this. And here we go, it says HTTP response for index A, which is 700. Hello, my name is Batman, and 3.75. And if we go back, those are the correct values. So let's just say if we were to update it. Let's change this to something like 456. 
run our project again and for index A we'll get the value 456 and there you go it says 456 it's that simple to access JSON arrays from a server if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there'll be a link in the description to that there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and comment as it really does help and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day